All right, welcome back to the Teacher's Tech Bar. In this video, we're going to focus on the iPad and specifically how to connect Notability to Google Classroom. So your teachers are gonna be having you do a lot of work, most likely with Notability and also sharing and collecting work on Classroom. So you wanna make sure it's easy to get something that you've done on Notability up to Google Classroom. So if you are here in Notability and you see the up arrow on the top left corner of the screen, you can see that there's an option for a whole host of things here, Google Drive being one of them. But I've found that Google Drive is a little bit slow and a little bit clunky when you do it this way. Also, if I hit other apps at the bottom there, and then I hit Share Note, and I try to just go directly to Google Classroom here, oftentimes I get this spinning red wheel here. I guess it changes colors, but I get this spinning wheel, and it's very annoying, and it doesn't end up working. So how do we get it so that it's quick to get it from here to Google Classroom? First thing I want you to do is actually go out of the Notability app and go into the Files app. It's the one on the fourth row here on the bottom, and I'm gonna hit Files there. And you can connect your Google Drive right to this. So for teachers, this could be really effective if you already have files on Google Drive and you wanna use your iPad to get them up to Google Classroom, this will be helpful for you and students as well. It's a way to save your work in the cloud from Notability. So if that doesn't show up on the left side there, there are three dots to the right of Browse. Tap on those and hit Edit. And you should see the Google Drive pop open and you just wanna make sure that the green is showing next to Google Drive. It'll probably ask you to sign in, but I'm already signed in, so it doesn't ask me that, obviously. And you can see these are all my Google Drive folders. So this is the, again, the Files app, which is down here on the right side. So now that I have that all set up, I'm gonna go back to Notability. When I'm in Notability, and this time when I hit that arrow pointing up on the left side, I'm gonna do Other Apps, and I'm gonna say Share Note, and then you can see in the white box second to the bottom, it says Save to Files, and I'll tap on that. Okay, and just make sure that you are in your Google Drive section and then just put it into whatever file uh, is most appropriate. Once you hit save, I'm gonna hit cancel here because I'm not actually gonna put this into a file, but you hit save. Now it's in your Google Drive folder and it's gonna go nice and quickly. So when you go to submit something as a student or when you go to attach something on Google Classroom, I'll do that now, this is gonna be more from the teacher perspective if they're making an assignment. But for both teachers and students, you'll see an option of a little paper clip, which in, on this screen is in the top right corner. You're gonna to wanna to tap on that paper clip and you can see file, the one, two, three, fourth down is gonna be an option for you. And therefore, just find that in the file. And let's say that I wanna choose this PDF, it's gonna go right in there. Okay, so that is how you connect Notability to both your files in Google Drive and to Google Classroom, all right? Good luck with this. It's gonna be something you use probably a lot if you're working in Notability, so give it a try and let me know if you have any questions.